Hi. So let us today start with some J level questions. Now before moving on to the J level questions, you should first know all the basic formulas which are required for understanding circles. The equation of standard circle, the equation of circle in center radius form, in the diameter form, the general equation of the circle, how to identify the radius and the center of the circle. All these basics should be well known to you before we go ahead. Okay, so just make a note of these formulas. And in the previous lecture, we have seen how to calculate the radius and the center of a circle using the given equation. So, this process should be done orally without the calculations. For example, the, if the equation of the circle is x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 3 equal to 0, then we can easily identify the center of the circle as well as the radius of the circle just by visualizing it. Okay? The coefficient of x is minus 4. So, just multiply it by half and change its sign. So, that will come to 2. The coefficient of y is 6. So, just multiply it by half again and change its sign. So, it is minus 3. So, 2 minus 3 is the center of the circle. Okay? And whereas, the radius can be found out by 2 square, 3 square and then the value of c is minus 3. So, minus of minus 3 that will give you root of 16 and that is 4. So, we, we do not need to write all the steps to find out what is the center and the radius of the circle. This should be done within a minimum possible time. So, let us have few more examples of these type. Suppose the equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 4x minus 6y plus 4 equal to 0. So, again by visualizing the coefficient of x is 4, just multiply it by half and change its sign that is minus 2. The coefficient of y is minus 6, multiplied by half change its sign, so that comes to 3. So, minus 2, 3 is the center, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 and the value of c is 4, so minus 4. So, we will get as root 9 and that is the radius that is 3. Okay. In the same way, just add few more questions. The second question is x square plus y square plus 16x minus 8y minus 20 is equal to 0. So, the center should be minus 8 and 4. Whereas, the radius 8 square is 64, 4 square is 16 and the radius will be 64 plus 16 plus 20 that will give you root of 100 and that will be 10. In the same way, look at one more question to solve it quickly x square plus y square minus 7x plus 2y minus 7 equal to 0. The center, the coefficient of x is minus 7. So, the center, the x coordinate of the center will be 7 by 2, whereas the y coordinate will be 2 by 2 which is 1. So, 7 by 2 and minus 1 is the center and the radius, we need to calculate this root of 49 by 4 plus 1 plus 7 and that will come to 9 by 2. So, this is how we find out the center and the radius in a quick manner. We do not need to write what is the value of 2g or what is the value of 2f all the time. Just multiply the coefficient of x and y with half, you will get the center and once you get the center, square the coordinates minus the value of c and take the square root of that number, you will get the radius as well. So, once you have done this bit basics, let us move on to some simple questions which could be asked. There are certain questions which are asked in JE, uh, how many common tangents that can be drawn to a circle. Okay. Suppose these are two circles, of course one can say one tangent at the top, one tangent on the bottom, one tangent in this manner, the other one in that manner. Okay. So, we can have four different tangents to two circles that can be drawn, four common tangents. Remember. The tangents at the top and the bottom are called as direct common tangents, whereas the other two tangents are called as the transverse tangents. Okay? So, it is not always the case we can draw four tangents. Consider these two circles, if the circles are touching each other. If the circles are touching each other, then this the number of common tangents that can be drawn is one at the top at the bottom, two direct common tangents and this one transverse tangent that is between the common tangents. Okay. So, we can draw three common tangents for this. Okay. 
now consider the another case in this case the circles are intersecting each other so when the circles are intersecting there are just two common tangents that can be drawn okay so i'm where as the fourth case if the circles are touching each other internally there is just one common tangent that can be drawn so these are the four different cases you should know very well how that how many common tangents can be drawn now how do you identify whether the circles are intersecting whether they are touching each other internally externally or they are not touching each other so that can be done by simply finding out the centers and the radius let's have a quick example based on this so the two given equations of the circles are x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 4 equal to 0 and the other is x square plus y square plus 4x minus 12y plus 39 is equal to 0 now we need to find how many common tangents can be drawn to both these circles now you already know how to find out the center of the circle as well as the radius of the circle by just looking at the equation so the center for the first circle will be half into coefficient of x into y and changing its sign so that will be 2 comma 3 and the radius will be 2 square that is 4 3 square that is 9 minus c the value of c is 4 so the answer comes to 3 similarly finding the center and the radius of the other circle the center comes to minus 2 6 and the radius will be 1 now once you have found out the centers Let's find out the distance between the two centers using the distance formula. So the distance between the centers comes out to be phi. So now we'll just try and represent this data in the diagram. You can see the two centers C1 and C2. The distance between them is phi units, whereas the radius of the first circle is three and the radius of the second circle is one. now it's clear that the distance between the centers is more than the addition of both the radius so the circles won't be touching each other they will be two separate circles which do not intersect or touch each other so the number of common tangents that can be drawn that is four two direct common tangents and two transverse tangents so in this way we can find out the number of common tangents that can be drawn simply by finding out the radius and the centers of the circle let's summarize this data so let's summarize what we have seen if the distance between the centers is greater than the sum of the radius then the circles are not touching each other and the number of tangents that can be drawn is 4 if the distance between the centers is exactly equal to the sum of the radius then the circles are touching each other externally and the number of tangents that can be drawn is 3 If the distance between the centers is less than the sum of the radius then the circles are intersecting and the number of common tangents is 2 whereas if the distance between the centers is equal to the difference between their radii the number of common tangents is just 1